Hello, this is Martin Brossman, and I'm extremely excited about the new communities offered in Google+. This is something I've been asking for and wanting for quite a while. Watch for more information from Greg Heyer and I in the future. This is a very brief introduction. It will show up either here on your uh, area in Google+, or under the word more, under the word more. So watch for it. It's rolling out. It's new, and I want to talk about some of the, the things to get started with it. If you go under here under help and then click communities, you'll get a getting started with the communities, creating a community. Under this, it shows the four types of communities that you can have. I'm going to demonstrate a private one that I'm going to use with my business to start out and then managing a Google community. They've got some really good tips. Please don't just generate something and abandon it. Take a moment and think it through before you start creating a community. I'm going to click create a community and then I want a private community. See how it offers public or private. I'm going to create a private community and this will be for and this will be a private one for social media content that I want to distribute to Colleen that helps me out in my business. So content for distribution for MB. I want to hide it from the searches. I could make it public if I want. No, this is in-house private stuff for internal communication. It's now creating a community. Got a nice little congratulations. I would definitely recommend a picture if this were more public a tagline to make it clear. I've seen a lot of empty communities. And the other thing is, if you're going to do a public community, do it with someone else. I, I don't really trust a empty community with one person. And, and there are already tons of those. Just uh, throwing them out there without uh, thinking it through. So I'm not going to do this at this time. I just wanted to demonstrate this. And I'll say continue editing. Because this will be a private one. Then I'm the next I'm going to do is invite Colleen to it as well. Then I can add a, invite a circle or individual. So I'm going to invite an individual. Of course, like I said, in, in uh, a community you're going to build, you want to fill in these uh, items. I just wanted to show very quickly how to create a community. Now I want to demonstrate a larger community to get a sense of what they look like. Google Plus Discussion is a good one to look at. Communities, it has topics in there under categories that you can be involved with, with different discussions. So here we have a number that's showing the number of people where it's showing the status. It's a public community, a place to share ideas and meet friends on under Google plus discussion. And I just posted something in the help area and I got a response. Now I'm going to reply to Edward. So I'll say plus Edward. Post a rep response to him. Then I'm posting it, and now I've uh, posted a response. We'll see who else has a comment. You can come in here and check and see uh, if you have something to add. Go ahead and add to it. Again, this is just a quick introduction of the new communities. Watch for new stuff between Greg Heyer and I on this topic, and look forward to connecting to you on a Google community. This is Martin Brossman.